Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake Island Exotics and today we've got one of the hottest days of the year. Yesterday was one of the record, record breakers. We was hitting 36s and close to 40s in places. It's ridiculously hot, so what we're trying to do today, we're trying to reduce heat, we're trying to keep the lights off, trying to keep the door closed, trying to keep airflow going, make sure everyone's in and settled. We have got some checking to do and we have, um, as you saw the other day, we had some fish come in that had been uh, poisoned and uh, we were trying to save some. We managed to save about seven or eight of them. Some of the smaller ones that have been doing really well have gone back, uh, but we've still got two of the larger ones still here, so we'll check on them. I've also sold more fish out of the pond, so we're gonna be moving our A-class koi into the pond today, trying to grow them on a bit more. They'll be a nice, good size for next year then. Um, and then we've got to do some treatment with Atlas again. We've got to see if he's going to feed for us. And then we've got to do his following treatment and an update on him. So please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me. And let's crack on with the hottest day of the year. So our main concerns today are fish tank temperatures. So if it gets too hot, we'd have to maybe do a little water change. The problem is we can't do too much of a water change because the, the temperature change would shock the fish. Um, we could maybe try and, and do some cooling, maybe some ice packs and stuff like that. But unless it gets too crazy, we're just gonna let it ride and see if we can coast through. Um, because it's just gonna, you can have so many problems putting ice in the tank. You can have just a freezing cold pocket and the fish goes in, it goes into shock and it can really, really mess them about. So, we're trying to coast through, we're keeping on everybody. All the air pumps are on as high as they will go. Uh, so, because hot air takes a lot of oxygen out of the waters. So, uh, we're making sure there's plenty of water on the tanks. We've got to make sure everybody in the, has got plenty of water bowls, plenty of water in their water bowls. And um, they're all topped up with fresh water. So, we go around and we do that. Um, and then we're going to show you an update on the fish and how they've progressed. Um, you know, we've only got two of the original eight that survived um, and then we'll catch some fish and we'll have a look at Atlas. So I've just gone round, every bowl is nice and full of water so I'm really happy about that, everyone should be sweet. Uh, the only one I have to do every so often is the tortoise ones because they're quite shallow, especially for the little one he jumps in and gets it really dirty so throughout the day sometimes he gets one or two. Uh, so I'll keep an eye on that one but apart from that everyone else looks sweet so we're going to jump in and have a look at the fish. Um, that was one of our big ones, doing a lot better now, at him as well, hey buddy, the fins look a little bit worse for wear, oh he's dead, so even after almost a week, they're yeah, still slowly going because of the, uh, the poison, we were told it was some sort of fertiliser that they put in there, uh, but it's still enough about, I think, I think it's damaged their gills in some sort of way. Um, so they have had some back, some of the smaller ones to try and keep the uh, filter system going. Um, but that big one, we was gonna keep the big ones here just so if they had anything else in them, it wouldn't sully that pond. Um, but we've got the big one left. You see, there's a couple of big black ones. Um, but apart from that, they've had the rest now. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna catch some of our koi, plonk them straight over into here, they should do sweet. Uh, and then we can do Atlas's treatment. Um, there's not much else we can do with, the, with these fish at the moment. It's basically just letting it come out of their system naturally. Um, I have put stress cure in there um, and we did start doing a course of fluke uh, treatment. So I'll carry on with that as normal, just to make sure everybody's sweet. Uh, but yeah, let's crack on and uh, catch some fish. Okay, so what I've done is I've got a bag in the pond full of the fish tank water. So I've uh, just siphoned some off. So hopefully that should be perfect for them and then we're gonna acclimate them to that water. So let's crack on so I can get some fishies. There we go, there's our lovely fishes, all in their tank water, ready to go. Just let them acclimate, then we can release them to the uh, 
the pond population. Only making friends look. So they'll be fine now, they will. Just let them acclimate, then we can release them all. Lovely. Okay, then, little buddies. Oh, you're a lovely one. Hello, mate. Oh, dropped it. There you go. Woohoo! Oh, you're pretty one, mate. Nearly, 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 nearly. Oh, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. Oh, you're a lovely one, you are. Like a blondie gold. Woo! Easy. Come on, fishies. Might have too much water in the bag. I don't really like releasing the water into the mixing the two types of water really. Oh, he's a lovely looking one. You okay, mate? Come yeah, on. Look at that. Ooh. Oh. Look at that. Wow, oh, lovely. Oh, off he goes. It's a bit easier. Down in the bottom of the bag. He's got a lovely dot on his head. Blue, blue little head. That was nice. This is one of my favourite ones. Hold on, buddy, we want to have a look at you. Look at that, absolutely stunning one. And then there was one. Oh, where is he? He's coming, he's coming, I got him. Look at that. You're beautiful, buddy. And off he goes. So that's everybody, I took this water away. Check there's nobody else. And we can move on to Atlas's uh, medication. So I've got some clips of yesterday um, when Atlas was, we did some feeding and stuff before his treatment. I uh, just checking how he was doing. So I'll put them on now and then we'll check if he's gonna feed today, if he's still feeling good enough and then I'll actually film his treatments and do that today as well. So we're on day two of treatment and Atlas is eating. So yesterday he had his antibiotics and he had his painkillers and last year, last time, well was it last year? It was over a year ago we had this. Um, <clears throat> this time, last, last time he wasn't eating at all so we're really happy that he's carrying on eating. So he's had one, so we'll see if he'll have another one. Good boy. I have been passing it to him more so he doesn't have to overextend his tongue. You knocked some plant leaves off climbing around. There you go, buddy. Okay. So he's got to have some more antibiotics today and some more painkillers. It's a really, really hot day today. His mouth looks a little bit better. Wow. That looks so much better. Nice and pink. 
I'm happy with that, buddy. You're looking good. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. So let's. Uh, I'm going to feed him up as much as he can, and then he's going to have his. Uh, we'll do his uh, treatment for today. Another one. Number three. Good boy. Good boy. It a little bit sore. You little trooper. He's not as bright today. He still has greens, but his whites look a little bit grey today. But, you know what I mean? It's an hard life, isn't it, kid? It's an hard life. I might take him for 10 minutes out in the sun just so we can get some proper sunshine because it's a lovely warm day and he's going to love it. Want another one? Good enough. Okay, a surprise for you. Look who we've got here. It's a holiday chameleon. Uh, lovely, lovely panther chameleon. Uh, so he's uh, only like nine months old. So you can see how... Um, Atlas didn't have the full growth of what he should have when he was young. Um, because how he's almost twice, he's, he's bigger than Atlas now, and he's only about eight to nine months old. Um, so Atlas didn't have the right uh, treatment lights and stuff as he was growing up. So uh, that affected his growth rate and, and stuff like that. That's why he's a little bit more delicate than other panthers. You hungry, my friend? Oh, he's not happy. If I, oh, jumped away. Jumped away. Like this, eh? Oi, stop jumping. It's not 3D time. Can't jump at the camera. Oh no, he's not happy. I'll put it there for you. Oh, it jumps into his water. Oh, it can climb out, that's okay. You can have that. I'll just put the one in for now. Because he doesn't look very happy at the moment. He's, he's, it's only his first day here, so he's still getting used to me. Look how beautiful he is. Okay, so let's find Atlas. I can see his tail, I don't think he's hiding in the bushes. So we're offering him a couple of locusts and then he can have his treatment for today. I saw him earlier, he was quite grey. Yeah, his whites are quite... Yeah, buddy, look. You can come get here. You come in. I'm okay, I'll give it you. There you go. Right, you're still hungry. Mouth's looking better. We'll take him down and clean all his mouth out tomorrow, we will. Well, I'm happy with that. He's eating his head every day, he's had some. Every day. But he has gone quite grey in places. But I'm happy with how much he's eating. Every day he's had something. You're my good boy. Now we'll have a little drink before and make sure we're all hydrated, innit, buddy? Oh, some lovely droplets of water, eh? Oh, what a boy, eh? There you go. Yeah, good boy. Have a nice drinky. And then you can have your tablets. There we go. Not tablets, your medicine. What we're going to try and do today is we're going to try and uh, put his... Ow! Oh! Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're going to try and give him his treatment in his tank instead of bringing him in and out all the time. So I think it stresses him out, out a bit. So I'll find this stuff and we'll treat him in the tank if we can. Uh, yes, I'm hoping he might think it's the water thing again. Yeah. Hey bird. Can I do it? Can you let me do it? 
No, I, I'm gonna grab you again. Oh, you ain't gonna let me do it. Right, let's catch it. Hey, bird. Right, you know you gotta have it. Come on. There we go. There's his antibiotics. Lovely job. Disease. Third up. I think it's his fourth lot in it now. Mix this one up again. Should have two lots of this, really. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on, you grab here. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I got it. Come on, you make stop doing wiggles. I'm making it go everywhere. Come on. Come on, buddy. I'm going to the bush. Come on, so you're sliding in the, in the lip. Just rub it along the teeth, and usually that makes him open it up. There we go, clearly. Got most of it in. He still needs one more go of it though. She hasn't been quite having the full dose, but I've been giving him a good six mil. Oh, six, 0 0.6 mil. about that it's gone very dark very dark but he's got to have it because otherwise he'll end up losing most of his jaw and then he's got no chance so there we go that's treatment I'll double check but I think that's treatment how many days we've we been some that is it's his third treatment Alex just can't keep numbers right so it's his third treatment and doing really well Got a little bit darker, but he's still eating every day, so I can't moan at him at all because he wasn't eating at all last time. So him eating is amazing. Hey then everybody, I hope you enjoyed the scorcher of a day today. So please like, subscribe, comment, and share, ring the bell for me. If you want to watch another video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to watch the playlist, it's up there. I'm gonna go sit in the fridge and cool off. <laughs> oh. If you want to support us, there's a link in the description below. If you want some snake island merch, there's a link in the description below. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.